Everybody, welcome back. We're on we're on pay to win. Don't worry. I, I put us on pay to win in between the last uh, the last episode and this episode. I will run this team, and I will be happy to do it. Honestly, let's be the gushing packages. You might have thought that was a double entendre. I just order a lot of liquid laundry soap on Amazon. We are not the same. Don't compare us. Place me. I accept this. You already know this is, you know, a squad that I'm fond of. Um, this, I'm going to call this temporary pain for future gain. I think we probably are more likely to not win with the second ladybug, but we'll get a double buff next turn. And you know what? I'm looking at the squad and I'm like, we could draw. I'll take a draw. You okay, buddy? What's it? This cat, he's going nuts, man. I used to think he was crazy, but now I can see he's going nuts. I think we got to play it differently and say that a bird is probably not likely to stick around. So instead of leveling it, let's let's harvest some, some buffs and be more likely to get some wins here. Let's level everybody up. I'll be honest with you. I would happily freeze two more apples. Remember, the problem with the bird scaling strategy is that you get damage, which is great, but the you you lack HP, which is not great. So we're kind of doing a, a good double scaling job right here. We, we compare favorably to many of the teams we could play against. Honestly, I think you could you could go full psycho here. I think you could sell your mosquito, double scale your fish in advance of a guaranteed ladybug level up next turn, purchase two animals. Get ready to pivot off of the bird. But like, I'm always I'm always frightened when I see an ox. Don't get me wrong, I think this ox is gonna stop us. That's just because an ox happens to be insanely efficient. It's very good. Beating an ox without having an ox is a difficult task. You're gonna feed me? You're gonna feed me? That's incredible. That's insane. I think at this point, we can now start to think about you soaking up some buffs. We're looking for a hatching chick to help you out. I thought we might have had it. You know what? That's a buff on our buffalo. So I'd do that over getting... Uh, I should have probably put it on you. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Like, I'm going to have two level two ladybugs and then... Whatever. We, we missed out on a 1-1 one -one on the unit that's supposed to have it. Big whoop. Life goes on. I'm stunned. I'm stunned by the, the caliber of your squad. It's all right. We're two away from lethal. No tropical fish, please. Regular fish? I honestly think our regular fish might be a little close to getting popped as well. But it does give a 1-1 one -one to the buffalo as well. Now we're talking. I don't know. <laughs> I think this made sense. And now, I would love to not lose this one, obviously. It's a four squad, but all the units are pretty good. We have some built-in scaling. I think our four squad is simply better. We take those. And then we can start building out some equipment. I'm actually feeling pretty solid. Okay, now the cat would like to leave. One moment, please. Hey, Tomo. Hey, buddy. Hello. I am kind of tempted to put a caterpillar out there, but I think we do better with scaling if we just... Um, I mean, you're probably going to scale a little faster, but we'll give it to you for now. I think we do a little better with scaling if we keep a buy-sell space open. So we buy, go... Okay, this I like this. We're going to buy, sell, five. We're going to buy, sell, and then we're going to roll a lobster. Believe it or not. Why a lobster? It's the strongest of the units that were available in there. Welcome to the squad. Little little lucky. Not going to deny the luck. Still feeling pretty good. I think this team can get us there. Definitely sell me. Always anything that's good with a buy sell, we should take. But I will make that mistake probably. It would also be good to buy one good food per turn. 
in order to keep our ladybug buffing. We definitely just enjoy that. I don't think we're buying a food this time. And that's okay. Um, there's lots of interesting stuff to do here. We're not going to roll two buffaloes, but we should roll... For now... Okay, we're going to roll two buffaloes. What I meant to say is we're not going to roll two bisons. You should believe that because uh, I always get the names confused. We'll do it this way um, so that we got the extra 1-1 one, one on the buffalo in advance. I, dude, this team is trending towards 10 right now. It's a, t it's a triple T team. It's trending towards 10. We're on 5 on round 9. What the heck? Insane. Insane. Obviously freeze me. I'm not going to freeze an octopus. Even though the stats are good, I'm not going to freeze an octopus. Man, we're past that, okay? You might as well come out here. We're about to have a level 3 bison. That's going to scale to 50-50 before we even know what's happening. Now, this might strike you as being an insane take. We are going to lose this one. We're going to be on lethal. I don't know if we've ever had a 10-win a game with a level 3 bison. So it would appeal to me greatly if we could make it happen here. This is beautiful. You got to be here. This is a... I know this sounds like copium. We could lose, but this team is really good. I would kind of be devastated to lose. The fish is, like, outstaying is welcome. Maybe that means the fish could go and we keep a scorpion. No, well, I, we're, not, we're never going to get wide scaling. Probably the ladybug goes before the scorpion then. Let's get rid of a 7-9 ladybug. We have to do this first in order to get the, the combine. You could definitely take a T-Rex and then leave this spot open for buffalo scaling if you want to. So you're 27-26. If we sell, we go to 8. I don't think we do that. I think we have to keep you around for now. Freeze a pair, maybe. Very interesting. I'm going to add a second T-Rex and then freeze it there because that's where we want to be for T-Rex buffing. I think that this team wins round 11. Like 80% of the time. Turtles can always throw a bit of a monkey wrench into things, but feeling pretty solid. A level 2 T-Rex is, like, honestly just pure madness. Might as well give everybody a beautiful buff, I guess, as well. I was thinking about buying a pair, but it doesn't seem like that's necessary. This, this team is also great. We just have a sad lack of melon armor that's starting to scare me as we get later and later on. But this is looking pretty good, man. This team is scaling nicely. That's 8. We need some lights out equipment. I'm not even stopping there for pears because we need melons. Okay, getting a melon is insanely good, man. Now, our scorpions kind of get a little yoked. Can actually, like, survive the average deer now. Huge, just reeds, soul reeds. Get your soul red. That's nine wins. Please. Be careful what you wish for, but, like, I almost want to draw. Because I don't know if I've ever won with a level 3 T-Rex. <laughs> Hold up, please. Let's not... Let's just worry about survival. Don't worry about the the machinations. We're going to get the 10 wins. You already knew it was going to happen. There we go. Okay. Starting to get the sea legs underneath me again. Now, I don't know if we picked up any new badges there, but we should have checked. You should always check. I like it, and I like it, and I freeze it, and I roll. I want a ladybug. Didn't get one. I'll take a second one of these, but I will freeze one of these. Let's be the moist ears. Ew. Ew. Okay. We win these? I don't believe it. Perfect construction. I'm. Let's not let you know the fact that lightning can't strike twice. Stop us from thinking that, like, I know it can't strike twice, but hear me out, like, what if it did, you know? What if it, what if just this one time, it struck twice? Like, lightning could never strike twice, twice, but it could strike twice once, probably, right? 
Copium? That's fine. I'm not sweating that. I'm just, and lightning striking here is 10 wins. That's what I'm rooting for. I will always embrace a drama dairy when we have no better options. I think that's fine. I'll also, I'll embrace a peacock. I don't think it does a ton for us yet. But in a world, in a world where we're planning on pivoting, I love rolling two dromedaries. Getting to 7 HP, like it, hypothetically, in the unthinkable situation where we lost this run, it wouldn't be that bad. You piece. Because 7 versus 9, it's not a market difference once we get down to 3. We know we want you to level, but we can freeze you for now. Roll me. What about a what about a three four bat? I'm gonna say no for now. I'll add a peacock and a roll. I'm gonna freeze a bird. I was hoping we get a peacock with no peacock. Honestly, I don't want to go down to five. Five HP is a bad number, so I'll buy a cupcake to try to reinforce us here. What the heck? That's a strong unit. Is the rest of your squad detritus? Not really. We, we were close to making it. A cupcake on a different unit might have gotten the job done there. Okay. Now, level me. You get 2-2. Two, two, you... I feel like we might be able to make a llama pop. Maybe I'm insane. I think this peacock... Is not doing anything. Let's combine you. Let's give you garlic so that you get stronger as we stand here. And then let's have you occupy the final position here. And I guess in this case, we should keep you around. Um, you know what? If we lose, we'll be happy we got that. It's going to take a lot for this llama to, to get there. But I think it provides us a way. And I, did, I don't think we had that prior to this moment. That's a win. I don't believe it. Okay, I think we've got to unfreeze the snail then. Because I think that that's like a hater methodology. I will take a 2-2 a buff for 2 gold. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, maybe. What about a caterpillar instead of a dromedary? Because it'll scale with our llama. Like, we're not far away from death, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but we have to think about... Like, we have to imagine... I'm only leveling you. I don't... Ah, whatever. Maybe we keep you. We have to think about... What if we were trying to get the 10 wins? How would we accomplish this Herculean task? This is unfortunate. That's a nasty way to go. And one of the ways would, I think, be a caterpillar that inherits some of the scaling. So we like that. Honestly, God is my witness. I would sell that beetle that we just bought in order to build up a better eagle. Now, you need some of this for sure. And I think now you got to move a little bit higher up in the depth chart. Even though the scaling applies like to multiple units, hypothetically... I'm still cautiously pessimistic. I'm very happy we have garlic. That that seems to be like a very useful get for us. I am not thinking that we're doing well here. Do a do a rabbit? Okay. Well, that's what I get for trying to have fun. Now, like pure scumbag build. Okay. Pure I mean, don't forget you asked for this. Like if you play super auto pets, you run double deer. You asked for this. We'll be the awkward husbands. We're not unintended. You don't just trip and fall in the marriage. You know, this isn't a lifetime reality show. I embrace the early loss. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't affect us. Has no impact. Freeze me. Roll once. Because you're already taking buffs, you're going to take this buff too. Gives our ladybug a little buff. A 6-4 unit. That's tough, man. 6-4 on turn two, that's like going up in a basketball game in the sixth grade against a kid who's like already over six foot. Like, how does that happen? I was like, I was probably 5-1. Not that I ever made the basketball team. Anyway, 
tropical fish. I think we can do this. And then I actually think we could sell this and do this. What if what if a peacock did better by sticking around than a than a green beetle? Although the green beetle is going to get another unit attached to it. I feel like a peacock gaining plus two plus one every turn for a, for as long as we can muster it is pretty good. I think that we're destined to die here because we're going up against an ox. That's just normal. If I had an ox, I would have purchased one as well. All skill. We have six gold. That's tough to live with right now. I'm going to give you meat because you are going to stick around for a bit. And then you know what? Let's just add a bat. If we could override a single useful piece of equipment on an enemy, I don't think the bat is that good, but at some point, I can't just run the same thing we just ran. It's, it just is a big feels bad, man. We got a little lucky. I'm happy to come away with a draw. This penguin's going to get there, man. Or uh, peacock. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Um, yes. This is a tough one for me. I think we can do this, and maybe if we can get you melon later, I would be okay with that. I would be pleased. Roll me once. Two bats. Double bat, make your bat better. Get some garlic on you. Ah. A pill is kind of what we're looking for. I was just going to say we're also looking for a bird. So I think we should have unfrozen something. But um, we can get some melon out there next. Maybe we can put the melon... I don't know. Do I want to override the, the peacocks? Hold on. Real draw hours? Real win hours! Do I want to override peacock garlic? I don't know. I think we do buy. Sell. I'm going to go a little crazy. I think we do bye-bye and look for another turtle. I saw it. Don't worry. Um, I don't want to override this equipment yet. I just don't know where... we. Generally speaking, you want to apply the turtle to the best unit. We're not really sweating that just yet. There will come a time where we probably do. But I'm feeling okay about this right now. We've crafted a, a squad that is adequate in the mid-game. Roll me? Come on. I, I'm, I know I'm begging you for something outrageous, but I need a turtle. I'm changing the game. Sell me. Buy me. Don't pill me yet. I'm just going to justify your existence with some meat. So this strikes me as a good opportunity to get a unit like the Rooster, which if we get several copies, could actually help us out quite considerably uh, in the game moving forward. I hope. Like, this is our... We're pinning our hopes and dreams on the, on the Rooster. And I think that's not unacceptable. I would still like to get one more... Uh, turtle, if possible. I'm willing to wait for chocolate with something frozen in the shop. I'm willing to, to leave a light on, you know, in order to get there. I also think this peacock is actually proving kind of interesting. But like a level two turtle allows us to apply a melon to the rooster and one other unit, which I actually think is good for us. So we're fighting the melon counterer. That's okay. It's still like, okay. Like we're going to lose, but it wasn't a, a stomp. And we're not on lethal. We're two away. That's the magic number right now. So we still like this. At some point, we got to get rid of you. But this is now chocolate time. A turtle. What do you think about going even deeper on this turtle, man? Freeze me. I think you stop the turtle there. I don't know if you ever pill it. Oh, no, you got to pill it. <laughs> but not yet. We'll pill it in front of the rooster. Okay, we're going to keep you around. So we are going to try some scumbag T-Rex scaling. It will benefit our, our rooster as well. So even if we lose this round, which looks likely, let's be honest, this team's like pretty scary. Um, I think we got a, a, a possible vector for success in our future. So it'll look like... I'm going to say... 
I'm still going to do it this way. I'm going to say pill me. Then drop me a T-Rex. Maybe, hold on. Drop me a cow. Feed me. Sell me. Buy a T-Rex. But we want the rooster to still continue to get buffed. Roll one time. I shouldn't have overrolled the peacock, but in the whole scheme of things, I don't think it's a huge problem. This rooster getting to level two is necessary for us to have a chance to win. Our insane placement actually benefited us. I did not see that coming. And we made it happen. So there's five. Come on, come on. Don't make a fool out of me. We said we had a chance, let's prove it. Dragon doesn't work here. If we're gonna get to 10, we need to probably have a level two T-Rex. I know the T-Rex is like easy mode, but they recently changed the T-Rex so it wasn't as strong as it previously was, okay? So get off of my case. We make it, that's six wins. Level two T-Rex, we can afford one more thing. I would like that one thing to be a chili pepper on the T-Rex, I suppose. Everything's still getting your, your freaking you know, four, three buff or whatever. We'll take it. Not that good. <laughs> and my melon, my melon, my, my, my melon. Well played. What a creative team. I know I got a T-Rex. I just like to be an a-hole about it sometimes. Let's buy some pizza. We can buy one more thing. Realistically, I think we, we would love to see a level three rooster. I think that would drastically increase our chances of success. This team is going to blow us away. This is a scary team. We weren't far away from drawing, actually, but that's a good team. I can't be mad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!